All right, guess who's back? Back again, that will be me. Hey everybody, it's Rocky, and thank you for tuning into my channel. So, today is, guess what? Yet another haul. Um, I love to shop. I, I'm not sure I've mentioned that before, but I love to shop. And so, I thought I'd share it with you. I'm always trying to look for sales, look for deals, and this time around, what did I do? I did Zara and I did Shein.com. And some of you have heard of it. If you haven't, today you will. I'm going to get right into it. Um, before we get going, though, can you do me a favor? What is it? Hit the subscribe button. I'm always going to ask you that because I really need you to subscribe. So today I'm going to do something slightly different. I typically don't talk. Get right into it. Start going. I'm going to chat with you while I open these things. Um... Hopefully I can get them open. I haven't tried any of them on. I just bought them, went into the store, Zara, grabbed them, and ordered online. So today you're going to find out with me if these things look okay or not. So I'm going to actually start with Zara. The first thing from Zara is, and um, I'm kind of forward thinking right now, it's, it's Chicago. It's really cold outside, but they had these amazing sales um, for January, which Zara always does. And I picked up something pretty summery. It's just a shirt dress, like a really a uh, knit cotton t-shirt dress with an unfinished hem, if you can see that. Um, bring that up a little closer for you. Um, but I am excited about wearing this yellow. Uh, I got this in a size small. This one was $7.99. Okay, first outfit is the yellow t-shirt dress that I mentioned. It's kind of uh, oversized, but I like it. It's very comfy, very, I don't know, just super comfy. <laughs> and I paired it with a spike necklace, um, some sandals that are Sam Edelman sandals that are spiked as well, just to kind of keep that going. I kept it neutral for a longer look, a uh, longer, sleeker look, but I like it. I think um, very casual. I could even do this with sneakers if I wanted to. I just decided to style it up this time. The next piece is a sheer um, dress. I've been wearing a sheer dresses for a long time at this point. I think like five years. I remember the very first um, sheer dress I got. Um, I took pictures of it. It's from Urban Outfitters. I took pictures of it. And um, I sent it to some of my friends. Like, I'm thinking about getting this. And I'm in the dressing room. On, excuse me. I'm in the dressing room on Black Friday. <laughs> taking pictures in the dressing room. Like, I think this is hot. And it's completely sheer. You can see my underwear, which were not matching. And my girlfriend was like, yeah, only you. You're such a hooker. <laughs> Um, but I bought it anyway, and I found a way to wear it. So this one, but now people are wearing them a lot more modestly with a whole outfit with jeans and a tee, and you put something like this over it. This one's navy blue, sheer navy blue with polka dot on it. Again, I'll link it all below so you can see. This one I got in a size small. Ha ha. Um, seven ninety nine. It says fifteen. I mean, the original price on here is twenty nine ninety. All right. Decided to go the uh, non-demure, non-discreet way with this styling. I just have my underwear on underneath, just so you can see just how sheer the piece is. And this is how it looks. It's very loose, so you could totally wear it over jeans and a tee. Um, or you could wear it as um, a coverall with your bathing suit. Um, or you can wear it like I'm wearing it. I don't know that you would go out like this, <laughs> but I just decided to style it this way for you today and so you can get a good feel of how it looks. And I kept the neutral shoes just for the sake of it. Same jewelry I had on before. And um, that's Next that. Next one is a really fun piece and it is a bodycon dress. And I'm hoping that you guys don't see all my ripples and lumps and bumps when I try it on for you. Again, I have not tried on any of this stuff, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna get. I've mentioned to you that it's winter here um, and I am fluffy. I am about 10, 12 pounds over what I am in the summer. So I don't mind it. It keeps me warm, but it doesn't look good in stuff like this. So this is cool. Body contrast. It's pretty soft. I would say it goes like right below the knee. It looks long here. It looks like it would be a midi, but it's not. It has like the tank to uh, top here. Uh, square neck. Square deck. Um, $7.99 is what I ultimately paid for this. All right, this is the polka dot bodycon dress. I've decided to pair this one with a letterman jacket. I was trying to like make it look a little bit cooler, a little bit more, not rocker, but just a little bit more edgy. Um, same shoes. Um, I'm just not trying to change shoes for every shot. 
This one is a cool jacket that I actually got from Nordstrom Rack and I got it personalized. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm going to probably move up a little bit so you can see um, the back of it. But I have my name put on it. Put my name on this one just to make it a little bit more personalized. Very affordable Letterman jacket um, that I got from Nordstrom's Rack. So I am pleased with this look. Um, got a lot of hits, but there's nothing I can do about that because I have a lot of hits. And that's the look. Tell me what you think below. Um, is this something that you would wear? I like it. I like the polka dots. It's a lot. It's a lot of pattern for on a small frame, but I'm pleased. Next one that I got here is interesting. It's an accessory. It's um, a collar. It's a jeweled collar that you can wear with whatever. You can put it atop um, a dress um, so that you can make your dress like if you had something with a higher neck. You can make it look dressier and or a tee or whatever the case may be. Shoot, you could wear this with a tank just to have a fun looking type of a necklace that isn't quite a necklace for a statement piece. But I'm going to bring that up a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that. This one was originally $25.90. Got it for five dollars here. I'm going to show you the um, neck collar here. I decided to put it on here. I probably I would not pair it with this because the pattern here, the sort of check pattern and the stripes don't match. But I absolutely love this collar. I don't know, tell me what you think. I love the sparkly design. If you're wearing something that's really plain like a black sweater, all black outfit, all white outfit, whatever, um, you could do this for a pop of contrast. I absolutely love, love this collar. That is the end for Zara. <laughs> All right, then there's she in. Um, this came in in like three packages. I have no idea. And there's one more thing that I'll probably pop up a picture of so you can see either here or here. And that's if I figure out how to pop things in. But um, as a part of my order, if you order a certain amount, you get a personalized necklace. Um, it has not come in yet. It's being shipped in from somewhere else. So let's get into it. Um. I don't know how much any of this stuff costs though. I should have bought, pardon me, I'll link it all below. So I'm sure it doesn't really matter that much. If you like it, you probably go buy it. This one is, let me remind myself, because I bought this, it took a while to get it this time around. Even though like if you buy a certain amount, you get free quote unquote express shipping. Um, it didn't appear to be all that express to me this time around. Um, I think it took like almost two weeks, a week and a half. To get it and I know that doesn't sound like that long but in 2018 with the Amazon same day shipping a week and a half is a long time and when you're trying to rival um, going to brick and mortar stores where you can just walk up and get something shipping the shipping time is very important because then you know what's the point you're waiting all this time this one is a oh it's so wrinkly but this one's a um, black knit long sleeve asymmetric dress. It's short, but the hem is asymmetrical. And I'm not sure if you can tell that from um, from the camera angle, but when I put it on, you'll be able to see that. Um, I am, it looks so, so soft and comfy. Um, if this were a tee, it would be awesome. I guess the dress is fine too, but it's so soft. All right, good job, Shein, with the quality. Um, most of these things come with no label. This one happens to have at least the size in it, but sometimes it doesn't have, um, it, it wouldn't even, it doesn't even have the brand. I imagine that they're wholesalers for other stores as well, and that's why. But sometimes you will get a Shein, and sometimes you get, you'll order from Shein.com and it'll have a Romwe tag in it and vice versa. So this time it just has the size. I'm Here we have the asymmetric, um, knit dress that I tried on. Love the long sleeves on this love that because you get caught well me i'm always cold so i always love to be able to pull my sleeves up and be like oh I'm go this one turned out to be a lot more sexy than i thought it would be um the asymmetric on this side is pretty high so um merry christmas <laughs> um this side is really good i'm i'm good with the side the back is decent um, I love the fit. It's very comfortable. Again, this cotton is so, so soft. Next thing from Shein. Okay, again, forward thinking to summer. I bought something else yellow here. Let's get you open. I think this one's a cold shoulder dress. I read an article that said that cold shoulder is out. 
Is that true? Um, I don't think so. I like it. I think that for all shapes and sizes, having that shoulder out is nice because this is always going to be sexy. Yeah. I remember a long time ago where I worked, we used to have a an extensive uh, dress code policy and <laughs> having your shoulders out like tank tops and stuff was banned. I, I guess it was a form of harassment. So um, if it's in a dress policy that shoulders are sexual harassment, then um, I think that shoulders are hot. <laughs> but this clavicle area, shoulders on anybody, no matter what shape, size, color, whatever, that's always going to look nice. Why does this look so doggone big? I got this in an extra small, but it looks massive. Uh, this is the way the shoulder is made. Um, I don't know about this. And then um, let's do this. The sleeve is like a bell sleeve with a little bit of a ruffling to it. And it's um, mimicked on the hem as well. So it has the ruffling detail. Whoop. Okay, so not so massive. Um, I thought this was huge. But um, it's just, you know, sort of skimming the body loose, loose fit, but not like ridiculous. What is ridiculous is these sleeves. Um, I love um, the cut of them. I love that it's a bell sleeve, but it's entirely too long. I mean, it's covering almost all of my fingers. Um, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still going to rock this, uh, but uh, the sleeves are a little bit longer than I can appreciate. I think that um, maybe if I had bulkier arms, they would stay up higher, but I don't. So it slides all the way down, sort of uh, down here. Um, so that's that's so that's probably the massive part. I mean, there is a lot of material here. Um, maybe that's why the arms are so long, because it should be a little bit more fitted in the bodice. Um, but otherwise, I do like the style of the dress. Um, I paired them with. Um, some green shoes for a little bit of a statement, a little pop. Again, I'm, I'm channeling spring summer here um, just because it's so dreadful outside, but I, I, I just wanted to put a pop of color in all of this. But I am living for this green yellow combo. Um, let me know what you think. And then um, every so often you'll see me do like a broad smile for no reason <laughs> because somebody gave me the feedback that I don't smile enough and I'm just, I don't, I don't. Smiling takes effort. I don't know if those of you in the real world, do you find that you're smiling all the time? Smiling takes effort. And smiling makes people approach you. <laughs> people approach you as if, you know, like that smile means come talk to me. I want to have a conversation. So being here in Chicago and rushing through the city all the time, I'm like, mm. <laughs> So um, I'm going to try harder to smile more. Um, this one here, I absolutely love. They claim on Shein that it was some astronomical over $100 price originally. And they brought it down to like $43 or $23. I can't remember these prices. I sh really should have brought them with me. But this right here is all, if those of you who know me, all me. The high neck um really structured top so it's half sweater half um sort of like a dress shirt um material the sleeves are half and half it has the ruffle detail buttons down the front so it's um oh my gosh that whole deconstructed thing that's all my all right so this one didn't quite have the effect Fact, I was thinking, I mean, it needs to be steamed or ironed or whatever, but it didn't quite have the effect I was looking for. I thought it'd be a little bit sleeker, smarter looking. This ruffle is a bit much on this. I'm Look, I'm still going to rock it, but um, just not quite laying the way that I thought it would. It's a good fit. Um, nice and loose and comfy. Um, I kept it with these white boots. You could totally do something a little bit more professional, some just regular pumps, navy pumps or something like that. Because I didn't describe this. I forgot to say this is navy and the stripes are navy and um, the dress is white. So these, the uh, detail on the sleeve, um, pretty cool. Um, just needs to be pressed a bit. Um, I'm gonna come a little closer. So you can kind of get a feel for um, the material here on the skirt. 
But yeah, um, not quite. I absolutely love this asymmetric detail, but not exactly what I was thinking. I paired it with just a regular necklace. Um, wrong pairing, now that I look at this, because I have gold hardware on the shoes, but again, I probably wouldn't use these shoes. I'm just keeping them on for the sake of, you know, continuity in this haul, but, um, eh, um, super comfy though. And then, way over there, I have another bag. Give me a second. Right. Another one from Shein. Again, I told you, this thing came in like three parcels for some reason, and, there's yet another one to come. So I took a risk this time and I bought some shoes and I'll show you what these look like. I'm not gonna show it just yet, but I don't, I rarely buy shoes that are quote unquote cheap, that are considered to be cheap. Um, I buy them for a, at a deeper discount, but not cheap in quality. So they, if you know, they're always gonna be leather, patent leather for the most part, unless they're intended to be some sort of a cloth or satin or something like that. Um, I'm always going to buy, try to buy nicer quality, but these right here, they did something for me. It, 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 it moved me. So <laughs> I bought them and, um, we'll see how they look in real life. I haven't, like I said, I haven't opened any of these things, but we'll continue down the path of everything else. And then we'll talk about these shoes. Should have brought some snack. Kitchen shears. Got these kitchen shears from my friend Shonda about mm, five or six years ago. She's like, you're the person who has everything. I don't know what to get you. And then some way, somehow, she noticed that I was struggling to open something once. And um, I think Christmas time, she got me kitchen shears, a pink kitchen shears, and a, um, a onesie pajama suit <laughs> that I love. I lived in that thing. I still have it, as a matter of fact. Oh, I remember this. Okay, let's figure out how it goes, though. So this is the bathing suit. Again, forward thinking. I'm just wishing we're not in winter. But oh my gosh, how sexy is that? So it's sheer at the top. And they strategically placed these flowers to cover up the important parts. Um, and so it ties around the neck here like a halter. And then it is all open in the back. And then you have the black bottoms, full bottoms, which I appreciate. Um... I got these in a size small. I'm hoping they fit because I am pretty slender up top. So I usually have to get like the smallest thing ever just so that it could fit me at the top. I'm hoping being able to, I can tie this tight so that it'll stay up. And these bottoms, the bottoms look good. Um, I have, a, I have enough. I have enough to yeah. <laughs> um, but let's see how this goes. Any of you who know me, IRL. Um, you're probably wondering why in the heck did she buy a bathing suit when she does not wear bathing suits in public? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just so moved with how cute and how sexy this one looked. Um, maybe it will inspire me to wear this in public. And here's another thing. Um, I'm going to try it on for you. So that kind of counts as, um, wearing it in public, right? And then if I do that, that'll sort of be like ripping off the band-aid and I'll maybe wear it at the beach. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> One, I'm channeling summer. Um, fits the way that I thought it would, actually. I was really concerned about the coverage here. And uh, if you just tie this up tight, the halter area, it does cover what you need to be covered. Um, I paired it with um, some new shoes. It has a really good fit, like really nice and high in the back. Covers everything I need to be covered. So I'm, I'm living for this and I thought I'd pull out one of my cool summer hats. See if that, um, how you like that pairing. Tell me what you think. Would you wear this? Is this a little bit too sheer for you? I think I like it. Um, now, will you see me on a beach or something? I don't think so, but uh, <laughs> I, I like it. Next one. Some other bag. Oh, don't need scissors. I like that. Oh, yes. I, I love their uh, message tees. They have a lot of cute ones. This one's just a simple oh. Mm, so soft. Luscious. Alright. Oh, this is my Too Tired to Function shirt. Should have had that on today. 
I love that. That is so cute. And it's it's not cropped. It's a regular length t-shirt, super soft. You can wear this underneath a blazer with jeans, with a skirt. I like, you know, I love the whole juxtaposition of um, really freely, frilly, girly things with like tees or like, you know, something edgy with it. I would totally do this with like a ball skirt. And I read that ball skirts are out too. <laughs> All right, this has officially become the lazy girl haul. <laughs> Um, I wanted to show you the shirt, but I did not feel like putting on any jeans or a skirt or something to go with it. So I put it on over the last dress that I tried on. Um, those of you out there who know me know this is totally something that I would do. Um, so, so lazy. Um, but yeah, this shirt I love. It's like I said, it was super, super soft. And maybe this will give you an idea. Like if you get cold and you have the cold shoulder dress on, guess what? You could just throw a tee on top because that's what I just did. Um, I'm gonna come a little closer so you can read the print. It's um, this is this is my too tired to function tee. Um, I wonder if I could wear this every single day because I'm always too tired to function like the first half of the day. But once I get um, going, better. But uh, here's here's the the look. Let me know what you think. I mean, it's a nice long length. It comes uh, about. Uh, top of the thighs here so you could totally tuck it into something leave it out i think it's a good fit i bought um some jewelry i think i mentioned that before um this one is a ring uh i'll link it below but this is a um it's a ring that looks like i'll get a little closer ring that looks like a nail and I love that. So hopefully that showed. Um, just a little silver ring that you can adjust. You can you know squeeze it so that it's bigger, smaller, whatever. Um, I have very small fingers. I think I am a size. I want to say a size four or three point seven five in rings. So imagine like I have to always get something adjusted or get it. Um, get, get it, uh, something that's adjustable or get something um, adjusted at a jeweler which is annoying but you know whatever so these are the shoes interesting the I don't know what brand this is Miss Chin Zhao Zhao you guys tell me if that's what if I said it right Ms. Chin Chen Zhao Zhao Xiao Xiao uh, okay I'm gonna stop because I'm embarrassing myself. So I went with a Euro size, um, European size 37. Um, I suck with the conversions. So I had to look it up online. What would be the US equivalent of 37? And it's a six or six and a half. So I, I don't know what's gonna happen with these shoes. We'll see. But I absolutely love them. I love them for um, summer. And you guys may not agree. They are, I'm, Again, I'm going to pop the link, and if I learn this technology a little better, I'll probably pop an image, eh, eh, whatever, wherever there's space. I think there's space here. Uh, I'll pop an image um, of the shoe. This is like, this is a, it's a boot with a shoe, a boot with a cutout, like an ankle boot. Can you see this? And it has the gold hardware on there, and I know it may not, I hope it registers well on this camera, but... It is so cute. Only gotcha is that this smells awful. I think it's maybe the white color, that paint that they use to make these, because again, they're not leather. Um, but it smells like somebody had been smoking in a wet basement for 20 years straight on top of the shoe. <laughs> Um, they smell awful, but let me let you get a closer look. Um, the boot, the the cutout boots or shoes, I don't know what these are called. I'll probably look, when I put the description below, it'll have what these are if they're shoes or boots. Um, I absolutely love these. Only gotcha is the fact that they're loose. They're pretty big. You'll probably need to size down if you do get these. But these are so, so cute. I'm going to move up a little bit um, so you can see. And I'm going to put my foot up so you can get a good look. So cute. Love this cutout. The hardware is nice and shiny. They're comfy. 
um, loose again like I don't know if you can see all this space but it's loose but I don't mind it it's there's a lot of buckling here so it's not gonna come off my feet or anything I just can't probably run a marathon in them not that I would be running a marathon in them let me show you from the front here um, not that I would be running a marathon or anything in these shoes but awesome love them really good purchase try not to flash it <laughs> All right, tell me what you and, think. Um, I liked I liked everything essentially. Um, some of the things were too big. The cold shoulder was a little too big. Um, the asymmetric sweater stripe shirt dress thingy was um, loose. Kind of does nothing for you, but totally fine for the office. Um, those white cutout shoes, living for those shoes. A little too big, but I love them. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else was my favorite? Oh, that bathing suit was a surprising love. Um, will I wear that to the beach? <laughs> Not sure why I bought it. Weird. Weird. Um, so yeah, I absolutely loved everything, um, in the hall. There wasn't anything that I was like, oh no, this is going back. Um, I don't know what did you like what did you did you expect me to pair things a little bit differently um i didn't quite style things up the way i probably wear them if i were going out so let me know how you would style some of this stuff um let me know if there was anything you liked really really liked let me know if there's anything you hated um and uh just gonna put this out there no body shaming please don't need it don't want it <laughs> no one does um, so anyway, thank you so much for um, joining me today. Um, one of the things that I wanted to comment on, two things. Um, I've done several videos at this point and I am noticing some of my habits and I know why I do them. So one of the things I do a lot is I close my eyes when I'm talking to you. I, I close my eyes or when I'm smiling, I'll close my eyes. And part of that is because um, I'm selectively social like i'm charming talk fun all that good stuff but i still feel a bit of introverted even when i'm being extroverted yeah i'm making stuff up at, at this point but i still feel a little shy and so my closing my eyes you know how little kids close their eyes and when you pick peekaboo close your eyes and the person's gone and that means they're really gone for real so I close my eyes and that means you're gone <laughs> so in that moment i could say the dumbest thing and feel okay about it because my eyes are closed and that meant no one was there no one was watching no one is judging so I do that quite a bit and even when I go out dancing with my girlfriends I'll be like dancing and then somebody will come try to dance with me and I'll just close my <laughs> weird but uh, but I noticed that I do that in this video too and hopefully I'll get a little bit more comfortable and stop doing that and the other thing is that I am self-conscious about all these I have a lot of teeth um, a lot of them. I don't. And I asked the dentist, do I have more or extra teeth than I don't? It's just, I have, I have a lot of teeth. So when I'm talking, I kind of hold my mouth tighter than I should because I'm trying to cover up all of these teeth. So I will smile more, show all of these teeth. Um, I will try to keep my eyes open and hopefully that will what? Encourage you to subscribe. <laughs> Hopefully the content itself will get you to subscribe my personality, the things that I'm talking about. Maybe all of that will um, encourage you to subscribe. Um, but otherwise, leave your comments below. Let me know what other content you'd like to see. Um, and I uh, hope to see you come back to my channel.